All right, good morning. Well, Lou's all sitting here waiting for me. Pepper wants him to go with her, run around. Oh, and of course, he switches. He's now switched to the other side. I thought he was going to stand that side. But I have this armband. It keeps me from getting scratched by blue. Now he's like, ah. Oh. Now I can't scratch your dad, so I'm just going to go. Um, these are made for uh, when you work in gardens and you have like thorns and thickets and stuff and you have to put your hands in there. Keeps you from getting scratched up. So, uh, I'm going to do something today that I really, really, really don't like doing. So, it's going to start off by a uh, warning I am not an investment professional. I anything you hear on this, uh, you must keep. You should keep that in mind. And any advice you take from me, you're a fool. You are best served either getting a professional to help you advise you or doing your own research in the area of investing in artificial intelligence. So, that being said, I have, uh, I'll tell you what I've been doing. And I may put down the show notes to somebody that, uh, has given some good AI advice on investing. There's a couple of people, but uh, one of them is actually pretty good. If I could, but I can't remember his channel. So, with the big shift in AI, which everybody can tell is coming, it's it's a foregone conclusion. Um, that means money will be shifting around and in investments. I mean, money will be pushed into areas that can take advantage of the upcoming cycles. But that also means that there are areas that if there's retraction or slowdown, they'll get hit pretty hard. Possibly. Like I said, I'm not an investment professional. Um, some good dollar cost averaging is probably the best I can do. So there are three my, three primary cycles. First cycle is uh, build out. Build out will probably last where it's a, I mean, a lot of money is going to be put into it, a lot of effort. Build out will probably be at least 10 years, maybe a little longer. Uh, I th the reason I say longer is 10 years, I think we could have enough build out to really get uh, the US and most of Europe. Uh, Fill that, but that's also going to allow more opportunities and more uh, businesses that can utilize these uh, com uh, new methods of creating capital. So, to take advantage of that build out. Uh, primarily what I've been doing is investing in uh, two kinds of stock. One is the chip maker. Uh, NVIDIA is really hot. And it is very high. It's probably going to go higher. I don't know how much more, but probably. But, you know, another 10%, another 100%, another 300%. 
I don't know. Nobody does. But there's also the people manufacturing the chips, TSMC, and there are many um, good in funds out there that uh, do semiconductor manufacturing. And that is going to be an important build out. There will be some electricity build out as well, but electricity is a little confusing because there's so much uh, regulation and uh, effect to consumers that they can't change a lot of things. So I kind of lean a little bit towards semiconductor build out as a primary area to take advantage of. Um, NVIDIA and uh, Micron, uh, AMD have, should be taking advantage of this, but they don't seem to be. And Intel is, I don't know what's going on with Intel. They've been a little strange. Um, after the build out, then it's going to be the, the guys that are the primary drivers. And primary drivers, Microsoft, Apple, Google, um, all those people that are applying stuff. I, Anthropic is actually my favorite uh, chat service. I don't know how you could take advantage of them. That's actually an interesting idea. It's, um, I'll have to go research that, see where it came from or where their, uh, where their investment might be at. So it's build out, then it's providing services, uh, in integration that, uh, the services part, people like, uh, oh, and Palantir would be a good one for that. Um, Palantir, I try, there's somebody else, like it's the tip of my tongue. Amazon, that's who it is. I think Amazon's going to be using it quite a bit too. Damn it, dog. You find the worst places. Oh, come on. Okay, go get it. Go back there and get it. You can get it. Go around and go get it. I couldn't get it. She put it in a horrible spot. Uh, did I just do something? Son of a bitch. Uh, is it still recording? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, so I'm cursing on the recording because of you, Luna. You done done it to me. Okay. I don't know if this is audio is working right now or not, but we'll see. Anyway. The point is that we've got a lot going on. And... The um, uh, is this running? Yeah, it's running. Okay. Amazon. So those are the build outs. Now, the last one is the actual implementers. The uh, people taking advantage of the services. They'll start to see their profits increasing and expanding. Now, that's much more wide range. Uh, something like QQM might be, um, or QQQ might be good investments because a lot of those people will be taking advantage of it fairly early on. They'll be getting a lot more um, profit because they'll have less developers, 
who are more productive and producing more readily. The impact for uh, productivity with developers, I've heard numbers saying it's like on the order of 20 to 40% better. And I think that's a good number. Now that's hit now. Uh, of course, it'll be higher later, but I don't know how fast. Um, there's still a lot of massaging and adapting that's going on. So those are the things I invested in. Semiconductors, the services, and then the uh, people using the services. And those are the people I think will be the winners of the next 20 to 30 years. So that's all I want to talk about. I think that's enough. All right. Did a little cursing on this one, and I got it through it, guys. Talk to you later.